Hey everyone, Tom from Ludicrous V. Thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, I just want to first of all thank uh, EV Direct and BYD Automotive for loaning us this uh, Press BYD Atto 3 loan car for the next few weeks for us to really give it a good test. And today I am actually going to show you a good place to park in the Sydney CBD that's walking distance to Barangaroo, which is a good place to eat and hang out in Sydney. And Bit of a treat for you as well, we've actually got uh, Apple CarPlay loaded on this vehicle, this uh, press car. And uh, BYD Automotive Australia has promised me that uh, these will be rolled out in batches. The in, map is already set to traffic view. In over the air software updates. So if you've got a BYD Auto 3 and you're hanging out for a Apple CarPlay on your screens, hang in there you'll get yours very soon. As you can see, we've got Waze up here on the screen, and I love Waze, it's a great na navigation tool. It's uh, user populated, so you get to see any incidents and obstacles on the road, and also live traffic as well. So uh, we're crossing the Sydney Harbour Bridge, as you can see, and uh, we'll see where we can go from here. So it's telling me to head down to the York Street exit, so we're just reaching the southern pylon now. Bit of traffic uh, this evening in Sydney because they've closed the Kyle Expressway for road work. And see how the volume here, you can actually adjust the volume of the radio and also the guidance, which is pretty good. I like, quite like that function there. Right, so we are now on the southern side of uh, this freeway and we'll try to find the York Street exit. So we're actually heading towards the Amora Jamison Hotel, which is where the parking is. It's about a five minute walk to Barangaroo. Yep, and it's got EV chargers as well, which is why we're going to try it out. Uh, which is another reason why it's a good spot to park in if you've got an EV like this BYD Auto 3. Alright, so merging left into the York Street city centre exit. And I must say, having Waze on such a big screen like this on the Auto 3 is fantastic. Don't have CarPlay in our Tesla. So this is quite, uh, quite handy to have. I normally have a phone next to the main screen for the Tesla. But having this on the main screen here, the Auto 3 is fantastic. Okay, so we want to turn left into Margaret Street. This is going to be interesting. See whether we can cut across two lanes of traffic here in the city. Uh, yes, we can. That's one. And then two three lanes of traffic. So left here. It's telling me to go left on George Street, so it must be all right, because we know George Street is closed to traffic in some parts because of the light rail, as you can see ahead of you. Not the trust ways. I think this car ahead is turning left as well, so I think we're okay. Of course, you can also move. Oh, no, you can't move, okay. So there might be a bug that needs to be fixed. Okay, so turning left here. Hugging the left side there. Of course, oh, oh. Wow, did you see that incident ahead? Whoa, okay. I think this car should have stopped where we are ahead of us. Almost caused an accident there. Back him up now. Oh, Ooh, don't run over that. No, nope. okay. Okay, this will be interesting. Okay. Just stay where you are, my friend. Alright, so we are now being moving. Okay, so 
So turning left into Jamison. So Jamison, um, the car park is now under the. Um, it's run by car, car park or care park, I should say. It used to be run by Secure. Now it's run by Care Park, so you can book online. It's a Wednesday night tonight, and it's um, it's twelve dollars for evening parking during the weekday. So um, it's fairly affordable, really, considering we're in Sydney. A bit more expensive on Saturday night. Okay, so when you book online, um, you get a pin code. So I'll put my pin code that I was given on the screen here. rates up there and apparently the charges well first of all you can hear the, the low buzz the low hum at low speed and there is a spot right there actually on the right you guys can see that yeah so they are Tesla charges but I've read on plug share that they do work so let's test them out and see whether it works so back into this spot now you can hear the pedestrian warning sound that low hum See the reversing cameras in action today. Okay. Yep, that's pretty good. All right. I'll just park the car. So to park the car, I press park down here, and then press stop. That's it. We're good to go. All right. Let's go check out the charger. All right, so this is actually a Tesla wall box, but we're gonna see whether it works with the BYD. And I actually forgot that the charge port on the BYD is on the front of the car. So I've actually gone back and moved the car and drove in instead, rather than backing in. Just so used to driving our Tesla. All right, so let's see whether this works. So let's plug in here. Okay. Yeah, this may not work. All right, well, that's a good sign on the wall there. See that, that's uh, going green. Cool, and let's go into the car, let's have a look, see what we're getting. All right, so in the car, we can see I've uh, got a quite high state of charge, but that shouldn't affect the AC charging rate too much. But uh, it's only getting 0.8 kilowatts, so that's actually really slow. Um, I don't know whether that's because we're in a BYD or because it's just a slow supply or low supply. But um, yeah, that's a charging rate. I suppose that's better than nothing, but that's still pretty slow uh, for this location. Uh, I'm sure we can probably get a, charge a faster rate if you were to use a Tesla in this location. Although I must say, looking at all the check-ins for PlugShare, um, other people have been getting slow speeds as well. So for example, AJ Tesla is only getting four kilowatts, four kilowatts, five kilowatts. So not just an issue with uh, the BYD, although it's a bit faster than 0.9 kilowatts. Uh, it seems to be a slow supply or a low supply here at this hotel. So I'm not gonna stay here in this spot because we've got a quite high state of charge, but if I were to stay here, I would do the courteous thing and check into PlugShare. And what you do is just tap the location you're at and then just press check in and you press charging now and uh, I would say uh, I would say charging at 0.99 kilowatts just to let other people know how slow it is at this location I'm actually plugging the Tesla one too so Tesla and I'm going to put here 0.9 so be truthful with this uh, place location here so submit Okay, and then I scroll down here. Got, there's my check-in right there, ludicrous feed, uh, charging at 0.9 kilowatts, BYD at 03. So yeah, good to be truthful with uh, what rate you're getting, uh, wherever you're plugged in. And also good to check in to PlugShare. So if anybody is also using PlugShare and they wanna get a charge, they can always message you through the app as well. And if you find that too slow, you can actually probably try other options like there's a uh, four pin 32 amp three phase charger there. I suppose if you've got a compatible plug and also a uh, 10 amp wall plug as well. So that might actually be quicker using that. 
versus this. Uh, some more options there. All right, let's unplug. Hopefully it's as easy as just removing it like this. Nope, it's not like the Tesla. <laughs> let's just try unlocking the car first. Okay, so you've got to unlock the car first, then you can pull it out like that. And put it back in. Okay, so let's put everything back together. So put that back. Okay, shut it like that. Okay, good. All right, let's move our car somewhere else. All right, so we're at the Amora Hotel, Jamison, Sydney, where the car is, and we want to head to Barangaroo, and it's telling us that it's an eight minute walk. It's currently now six o'clock. Let's see whether this is accurate. All right, so here we are in Barangaroo. That's it ahead of us there, after we uh, get off these escalators. And uh, yeah, Google Maps is fairly accurate there. It's now 6.08 p.m. So that's pretty much bang on eight minutes there when you reach Barangaroo. A bit longer uh, if I want to head to the restaurant, which is where we're heading tonight for dinner. But there you go, about eight minute walk from the Amora Jamison to Barangaroo. All right, everyone, that's it from me, Tom from Ludicrous Feed, driving the BYD Auto 3 to a parking spot that's very close to Barangaroo with some EV charges, albeit a little bit slow. There are some close to parking stations, but they're slightly more expensive here in Barangaroo. And there's another one further up, a bit of a walk to Barangaroo itself. So I think this charging spot uh, with the parking, about eight minute walk away is a good compromise. All right, everyone, uh, stay tuned for more BYD Auto 3 updates, including a full rundown of Apple CarPlay for the Auto 3. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Until the next ludicrous speed video, happy charging.